After completing the initial integration between your Craft.io workspace and your Azure DevOps project, as well as mapped between your uh, fields in Azure DevOps to the corresponding fields in Craft.io, the next step would be to set up the webhook. The webhook allows automatic synchronization between your ADO project and your Craft.io workspace. Uh, that is for items that are being updated as well as new items that are being created. This allows you to treat uh, Craft.io as a source of truth because all the information that you will find within uh, in relation to your items is the most up to date, whether it's the statuses, the description, uh, and any custom fields that are uh, mapped between the two tools. So how do you set up a new webhook? Let's head to uh, ADO and open the project settings. It is important that the person who creates the webhook has admin permissions in your ADO uh, project. So if it's not yourself, please find the relevant person within your organization that is uh, that has the permissions to create new webhooks. Uh, in the general uh, project settings, let's head to service hooks. And from here, we can create new uh, webhooks. Clicking on the plus button. On the main uh, navigation menu, let's scroll until we reach webhooks. Click on next. And under the trigger on this type of event, let's open the drop down all the way down until we reach the work item ones. So you would need to create three different triggers one for work item uh, created, work item deleted, as well as work item updated. Let's start with work item created. In the next section, you're able to filter the trigger by either area path, a work item, or tags. If you have multiple area paths in your ADO project and you are going to synchronize and update only certain uh, area paths with your Craft.io workspace, this is the place for you to focus it and uh, specify which area paths you would like to trigger updates to Craft. When we're looking at work item types, it could be that you would only uh, uh, wish to synchronize updates that are related to issues. Then you can uh, specify that here. Because this is not a multi-selection, if you do want to uh, synchronize both epics and issues, you would require to create separate uh, triggers for each one. Lastly, the tags. In case you don't want to synchronize all items and the way to, uh, to, synchro to um, filter down uh, the items that you wish to uh, sync across uh, is by tags. So you can create um, a new tag uh, directly from here. And then you would require to add this tag for any items that you wish to sync across uh, to craft. Let's skip this blank and click on next. In the next uh, section, you need to define the URL, which essentially creates uh, a, a connection between your Craft.io workspace and the, the webhook that you're creating in your Jira project. It's important to bear in mind that the URL will not be uh, your workspace URL, rather than heading to Craft. And in the integrations menu, you'll be able to find over here, a designated link for the webhooks. So let's copy the link from here and paste it back in ADO. Click on finish once this is done. So we've created a new webhook. Well done. You would need to uh, create at least two new webhooks, one for work item uh, deleted and another one for work item uh, updated. To see that the webhook is actually uh, uh, triggering events from ADO back to craft, you need to have at least one item uh, in ADO updated in order to fire and trigger the webhook. Once that's done, 
let's head to the workspace to confirm that an item has been updated uh, or a new item is being created and essentially the webhook is working as expected. So in craft, once we see the webhook icon lit in blue, that means that the webhook is connected.